Jazzy Ann, and welcome back, Snacks. And I'm really excited for today's video. If you've been following me for a while, then chances are you most likely know what Seven <gasps> Supergirls is. But if you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I need to give a brief explanation before we hop into this video. But I gotta do it appropriately. But also, if you're a new watcher and you used to watch me on Seven Supergirls, then hi, I'm Jazzy. And yes, I still make videos. So let me explain what Seven Supergirls is to all of you newbies out there who still don't know apparently. I'm just kidding. I like never talk about it, so. So before I started making videos on my Jazzy Ann channel, I was a part of another channel for about five years. This channel was Seven Supergirls and it was basically a shared channel with seven other girls and we all had an assigned day to post within the week. And every week we would get a theme that we had to base our video off of and then we would have to make a skit. This was a channel geared for younger audiences. Not to toot our own horn or anything, but our channel was actually extremely successful. We had over 7 million subscribers, and a regular video would get a million views. For a good amount of time, it was genuinely so much fun. I loved the girls that I shared the channel with, and I had so much fun making videos that people enjoyed. But then as the channel got more successful and I got older, the dynamic changed a lot, and it just wasn't nearly as fun anymore. And also, because I was growing up, the videos I was starting to make was getting awkward for my age and I couldn't really do anything about it because the channel was specifically for younger audiences. So I left, but it's okay because now I can make whatever I want. And then like a year after I left, the channel got deleted and you can do your own research on why it got deleted. But if you do look it up, do it after this video please. And that's basically a brief explanation of what the heck Seven Supergirls was in case you didn't know. Yay. Lastly, before we get started, I just wanna make it clear that I have no beef with any of the girls that were on Seven Supergirls. And if your favorite previous member happens to not be a part of this interview, then just know that I reached out to the girls that I had the most experience with whenever I was on the channel and not everyone was available for the call. So with all that said, let's take a nostalgia trip and have a totally terrific Tuesday. Gosh. Hi, I'm Emily. I was Monday and I was a British fan that you've probably all forgotten. <laughs> okay, so I'm Kaylin and I was the Wednesday spot. Hey guys, it's Catherine and Rachel and we were the Friday spot. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nicole and I was Sunday. Okay, I'm Mimi and I was Saturday. My name is Nicole and I was Monday. Okay, so first, um, are you still close with any of the girls? Oh my god, everyone always asks this. Like, this is like the most requested like question I get like on TikTok and everything. And like, honestly, like, I don't speak to any of the girls. Like, you're probably the person that I've spoken to the most. Not really. <laughs> is that bad? I think the person, I think the people I like keep in contact with most are you mm -hmm. and Nicole. Um, I, I, I like talk to people every once in a while. I'll just be like, hey, how are you? But I don't really like, consistently contact anybody. Yeah. Which is kind of sad. Are you still close with any of the girls? <laughs> so I see Rachel all the time. I know. We're, so we're, <laughs> we're pretty close. So. We're pretty tight. Um, um, we've seen you three summers in a row. Yes. <laughs> and I saw Emily when we, I went to England. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah. And I, I still love everyone. So. No, I'm not that close with anybody, but like I keep in touch with a lot, but not, not <laughs> yeah. Are you still close with any of the girls? I don't know. I kind of like keep up with people like through social media and stuff. Like I'll always see like you posting and like Kaylin. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. Just the main people on our channel. I feel like yeah. I like to keep up with them through commenting and stuff. Like that like we comment on each other's like photos on Instagram and stuff, but mm -hmm. we don't really like talk. Yeah. Like honestly, I wish I was close with like all the girls, but I just feel like a lot of us have just like drifted apart and just it's because yeah. we all far apart as well yeah. so it's not like i don't know it would be so good if we all lived so close and we could like all do like a reunion oh my god that would be imagine? so cute cute would that be yeah no no but like i i agree like it's in that nothing like bad happened we just kind of like it was natural i guess are you still recognized in public yes not as much Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's people who watch me now, but sometimes it's people who are like, and they're like, are you seven supergirls? And then like, kinda. I don't get like 
immediately recognized by people very often anymore. Like some people will come up to me, but it's a lot rarer than it used to be. But what happens a lot more now is that I'll mention something about how I was on YouTube and then people that I've known for a long time will be like, oh my gosh, you were on Seven Supergirls? I watched that. Uh, it's usually, like it used to be every time we went to Target, people would recognize yeah. us, but now it's mm -hmm. a lot less. But if we're together, sometimes people recognize us, which is pretty cool. Like, yeah. after all this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you still recognized in public? Like, from Seven Supergirls? Not, like, not to the extent I was when I was on SSG, but I have like, I don't know, it's very rare, but I have seen like girls take like videos of me when they like think they're being sly. No, it hasn't happened in a while. I don't think I was popular enough. Used to happen. Are you still recognized in public? Like, no. No? <laughs> yeah, but I used to be recognized like all the time. I. I, like, I barely get recognized now. The thing is, I don't think many people recognize me from Seven Supergirls because I look so different. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone would come over and be like, you're Emily from Seven Supergirls because I literally wore like zero makeup and like brown hair. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like meeting each other for the very first time? I honestly think we all like instantly all got on. Like I'm being serious. Yeah. Like I can remember like the first time we met and it, I just feel like it wasn't even awkward. Yeah. Like I was I was like vlogging like on the first time we ever met. I don't I don't know how I did that because I'm so awkward. But I was like vlogging like I don't understand. But I think it's just because we had like a similar interest. We were all doing the same thing, so like mm -hmm. we just all got on so well. It was like I remember saying to you or something like, "Wow, you guys are actual people. That's kind of fun." <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Yeah, but that was really fun. And then I remember the the first night when like I just felt so much younger than everyone else. <laughs> And like the first night when we got back in our hotel, I was like crying. I was like, oh, am I gonna fit in? I was like, oh, I'm so, so young. So sad, little rachy. I felt like I wasn't cool enough, but then Aww. everyone was nice to me, like, I, yeah. and we became really good friends, so. Yeah, I didn't I, have to worry. I think I cried too the first night. I don't remember why, but you know, it was it yeah. was a lot to take was, in. I was terrified because I thought that you all were gonna like. It was weird because we didn't all talk that much before we all met. Yeah. But then we all met, and it was like we had all always talked. It I was agree. like really weird. We all. I think the first trip we ever went on was probably like my favorite trip to this day because it was just so like surreal. But it was. It was fun and it was weird to see everybody in real life and to find out I was taller than everybody. So that was really nice. Yeah, I forgot how tall you were. That was like such a big surprise to everyone, I think. The first time I met you guys was at your meet and greet, like before I was on SSG. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I came to that. I was such a noob. I was literally, Aww. I was probably so awkward. What was your favorite theme and your least favorite theme? Wow. I know. Everyone loves freestyle because they get to be creative. My favorite theme was probably freestyle. So our favorite theme that we liked was freestyle. My favorite theme was probably like freestyle. My favorite was probably like a freestyle or something. Because I could do whatever I wanted. It was such a break from having to do skits every single week. So that was a lot of fun because I felt so much less stress about it. Because you could do whatever, but also that was hard. I hated had freestyle. I think, but honestly, freestyle, I dreaded freestyle because I just needed like a little bit of of like prompting and it was freestyle I was like freestyle was up. hard so I think that our least favorite it just depended because oh I feel like a lot of skits like got repeated really close to each other <laughs> and like one time we did a video I don't remember what the theme was but we did something with grandmas and then like a week later the theme was grandmas and then <laughs> I got the email in class and I like almost started crying <laughs> like, <laughs> what was your favorite theme and your least favorite theme? I think my favorite theme at the time it was like expectation versus reality. I oh, think. that's so fun! Or How like, has being on Seven Supergirls changed you as a person? At the time, like my confidence was really low when I was on Seven Supergirls, but after I left, I feel like it really helped my confidence because I had all the people at school like saying, like, "Oh my God, you're Emily from Seven Supergirls," and I like, laugh at me, but that like made me like stronger as a person because I had to go through like all that hate and like I don't know it just made me like more confident mm -hmm. and yeah a lot of ways I was like a completely shy little hermit child I, I literally hid behind my mom and so when I said I wanted to do YouTube videos so my parents were like what 
the heck are you talking about? They thought I was they, they thought I needed to be put into like a psych ward. Um, no, I think like it's a lot of things that like have helped me like grow kind of as a person. Like things I don't necessarily realize. Like I feel like I have a lot of self discipline because when you have to make a video every week, yeah. I feel like I got a lot out of that. It made me a lot more confident to like if I if I need to like be bold and like speak yeah. loudly like. I'm pretty good at presenting like that, uh, definitely because of making videos and like trying to be entertaining and uh, stuff like that. How has how has being on Seven Supergirls changed you as a person? I understand how to like edit videos now, and I've been able to do like some freelance work from that. It gave me more experience with like technology and like the whole like video production aspect of it. Was the work overwhelming? and what made you stay? I mostly stayed because I had a really, I don't know, I felt like leaving would let everybody down. Like I felt like leaving would let all the fans down and stuff. And I just remember you used to see comments and they were like, oh my God, if Kaylin ever, ever leaves, my life will be over. I think everyone got those comments. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, like we're all gonna, I'm gonna make people sad. I don't know, I feel like I learned a lot. And it sounds weird cause it's like a YouTube channel, but I feel like I learned a lot about a lot of things while mm -hmm. I was on there and just different experiences and different, I guess just, I guess it just, I, I don't know, it was a lot of learning and I don't even know why, but it kind of was. Was the work overwhelming and what made you stay? You know, it depended on the week, but you know, we did it since I was like, I was 11 until I was 17. Mm -hmm. So six years. Yeah. Eight to, eight to 14. Eight to 14. So like, it's hard to come up with a video idea every single week. Mm -hmm. so, and it just, it depends on the theme, like how frustrating it is and like, I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty overwhelming at times. At school, at lunch, I would like go in the library and like write a script for Seven Supergirls instead of like hanging out with people. <laughs> so but yeah, what made us stay basically was just like each other, having each other on the channel, even yeah. though like we weren't like hanging out in real life and stuff because we live so far. Definitely like if, if we didn't have trips and I didn't meet you guys, I don't think I would have stayed. Same, like, I, I, yeah. I mean, at least as long. Yeah. I mean, at times it was overwhelming because having to film a video every week was like stress, but I feel like there's jobs that could be like, that are way harder. Like I found it like so like, at the time I found it so hard to like, um, like film videos every week. But now I look back and I'm like, I could have had a worse job. Like I could have had such a hard job mm -hmm. where I had to properly work like yeah I had to film and edit a video every week but like compared to some people's jobs like that isn't hard. What was your favorite meet and greet experience? I liked all of them apart from the first one like that first one was a, just because it was the first meet and greet it wasn't very organized. I oh think, like, yeah. I guess my favorite part of the meet and greet is when you walk out and you get to see people. Yeah. Everyone came that was like so cute. Because like it's I don't know it's one thing to like have like see the views on the screen and like people are watching this many people watched your video but then when you actually get to like meet the people who watched it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if I answered that right. No, no, that's <laughs> fine. That's that's. Perfect. I remember this one specific fan. I actually follow her on Instagram. Her name is Jacqueline, and she oh. I don't know if you remember this, but I don't remember which meet and greet it was at. I think it might have been in California one time, but she came up. And her and her friend did a whole dance and like a whole cheer about uh, SSG and all this stuff. And they were like, do you remember this or am I going insane? I don't and know. Like, I don't know. Because I also love when people used to make little jars yeah. and they put like things they like about me in it. I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. I still have them somewhere in my closet. Yeah, but... I have all mine too. What was your favorite meet and greet experience? Well, I only had one like actual meet and greet with like fans. Oh really? I don't know, it was like such a cool experience to like see people in real life who like watched your videos. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, like I still have like all of the fan art that people made me. <laughs> yeah, in, same. Like, a backpack in my closet. They would give us like drawings or they'd, <laughs> yeah. there was like some fans that gave us Simba and Nala. Yeah, we got stuffed animals. animals, but I think it's so cute that people put in the effort to like make something for everyone. And like girl. read all the notes, mm -hmm. that was so cool. And I still have all of the stuff that's been given to me in like a box in my room. Yeah, so. we have a giant box. And then someone gave Rachel a potato. That was, and she <gasps> that was my favorite thing. Oh my gosh. Someone gave me a potato. I love that. Um, it, it had a face on it. I planted it in my garden and it grew more potatoes. And I remember that. That was the thing. 
That was my last meet and greet, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was incredible. Yeah. That was so funny. They want to know what, what you're up to now, since they haven't watched us in a really long time. I'm trying to do acting, so my YouTube career has gone a little lazy. Um, I don't know if that's really because of the acting or just because I get lazy. I'm trying to get somewhere with it, but it takes time and it's not an easy... Yeah. I also have like a backdrop set up on my wall over oh my there. Oh my gosh. That I was using to tape all these auditions that I've had to do. So I'm on a few different channels. I um, am on a channel called Funny Flicks and a channel called Maddie B Vlogs. And they're all like kind of run by the same Maddie B organization. And then I also have just started posting on my channel... Mimi Dravic. <laughs> I'm in college. I'm a sophomore. I uh, I play golf still, and I'm studying art therapy. So that's really exciting. So I'm doing art a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. Um, right now I'm just going to college, and quarantine has made me be very creative. So right now I'm like sewing a lot of clothes. And oh, fun. A lot, so I'm at university right now. And I'm doing film and TV production. Cool. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, I think a lot of people like on the Psych channels have like gone to do like media courses and like film and stuff. But honestly, like, like I got like found that passion through doing the Psych channels and stuff, and it made me realize that I want to make like short films and things like that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm at uni at the moment, and obviously I'm not there at the moment because of coronavirus. I'm sorry about what is going on with the world. Yeah, I literally don't understand. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, it's but, awful. A uh, very last question. Um, with everything happening in the world right now, what is everything you want everyone to know? That it's going to be okay. I think the biggest thing that everyone, including myself, needs to remember is like, it's not forever. And I think now is a good time to really try and, I mean, I, I may be hypocritical for saying this because I've been like sleeping and eating granola bars. Yeah, I've been so I, lazy. <laughs> I've been so lazy, and then I got a Switch, so I've been, like, playing Animal Crossing. Um, Same! Wait, you should add me! Okay, sorry. With everything happening in the world right now, what is one thing you want everyone to know? This is gonna end. Like, it'll be okay. We'll be stronger. We'll be- yeah. We'll be- we're gonna be alright. We're gonna be here for each other, and I think what's gonna be awesome is we're gonna appreciate things a lot more. So, like, look for the light in the darkness. I think when we all are, like, done with all of this, we're gonna really appreciate mm -hmm. all of things in life more that we've just kind of played off as oh it's just everyday stuff like I never realized how much I missed just going to like my acting class or going to like Starbucks or whatever just on a daily basis mm -hmm. so I think now is like a good time to reflect on all that and think about okay one day we'll get back to that but I think now is a good time to try and work on like bettering ourselves as like people and I agree. with things we to do and work on getting ready to be better when we're all allowed to leave our houses. Stay safe, stay healthy, like stay inside if you can, please, because mm -hmm. I think the sooner we're all just like locking down and being inside, the sooner this is going to get better, I hope. You know, it's okay if you don't feel like you can have a positive attitude or like if you're scared, because like Rachel has a much easier time like being positive than me, I think, <laughs> but um, you know, you don't have to feel bad if you feel scared, because yeah. like no one's been through this before, so. Like, it's all right. A lot of people feel like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't think too far into the future about this because it's like making people really nervous and stressed out. Yeah. So I want everyone to know that everything always gets better. Stuff like this is always temporary. I know it's like a horrible situation, but I hope everyone's staying safe. And you've just got to remember that, like, you're going to get through this. Like, everyone's going to get through this. Everyone's going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a horrible situation, but we're all going to be able to get through this. And yeah, just stay safe, everyone. It was so nice speaking to you, though. I know, this was so fun. I This is so nice. It's good to, like, hear from you, even if it was just for, for a short little time. Bye. 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 Toodles. Yay! <laughs> as soon as I left seven supergirls I wanted to make sure that my content that I posted on here was different and so I definitely got a lot of comments that were like oh my gosh like you've changed so much but even after I consistently posted different content like two years after leaving seven supergirls I still got comments saying like wow you changed so much and I don't know if the intentions of those comments were supposed to be like changed in a good way or a bad way but like that's kind of the cool and like sappy thing about having your personal life displayed on social media and like you get to see the person grow up and you grow up with them. So yeah, you might notice like, oh my gosh, this person that I've watched has changed. But chances are 
you've changed too because you've also grown up. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Subscribe to be part of the snack pack because I post videos every single weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my gosh. And have a totally terrific Tuesday. I gotta live up to my legacy. I got it.